In 1948, an English surgeon first reported that patients who had the removal of meniscus cartilage were subject to getting osteoarthritis. We now know that up to 70% of persons who have lost their meniscus cartilage, either completely or partially because of injury or surgery, will develop osteoarthritis if they live long enough. Today, there's a new advancement in arthroscopic knee surgery that offers help to those who have either damaged or lost the meniscal cartilage in their knee. This procedure is called meniscal allograft transplantation. The meniscus is the fibrous cartilage between the femur and the tibia that acts as one of the knee's shock absorbers. When the cartilage is torn or has been damaged in an accident or even a sports-related injury, arthroscopic surgery is often necessary to repair or remove the meniscus. With the knee's shock absorber having been partially or completely removed, the risk for developing serious and disabling osteoarthritis over the next 10 to 30 years is dramatically increased. In many cases, pain or lack of mobility prevents the patient from enjoying normal activities or exercise. Now, thanks to a controlled freezing of donor tissue, we have the ability to transplant meniscus cartilage back into your knee. The procedure is much like other arthroscopic surgery. Normally, three small incisions are made in the front of the knee, into which are inserted the instruments and the arthroscope. The knee will be examined previously for sizing, and during the procedure, a bed is created to receive the new cartilage. The allograft meniscus, a C-shaped rim of cartilage taken from a bone bank, is slid into place and sutured inside the knee into the bed that had previously been created for it. Afterwards, the incisions are closed, much the same as other arthroscopic surgery, and a sterile dressing and knee immobilizer are placed on the leg. These are normally worn for about four weeks. You may walk on the leg as soon as you would like, but should not bend the knee for about four weeks after surgery. Your surgeon will prescribe a program of rehabilitation and exercise that will help speed your full recovery. This may include aquatic therapy or some other form of physical therapy. Meniscal allograft has been successful for many patients to relieve pain and loss of mobility when knee cartilage has been severely damaged or removed. But most important, the replaced meniscal cartilage will slow or prevent the development of osteoarthritis. I came to the Florida Knee and Orthopedic Center uh, looking for another option to the uh, total knee replacement. Walking was uh, not a problem. It was the activities uh, such as running, jumping, that uh, caused pain. My hope with this operation is to eliminate that pain and swelling and get back to a normal lifestyle. Well, if we went out dancing, I couldn't do any dancing at all before the surgery. I mean, I'd be in pain for two or three days and, and taking anti-inflammatories. Uh, but since I had the allograft, I don't have any problem with that at all. Now that I've had uh, the allograft, I'm, I'm able to do anything I want to do. I can walk any distance. I can go to Disney World Walk to Hull Park. I can golf. I can ride my bike, go dancing. Other, other than tennis, I can do anything I want. I'm amazed at it, really. I really am. Hopefully, this procedure can do the same for you.